back here at 1035 East Myrtle getting ready to sell the house a very bittersweet moment in the life of Kobe a very amazing house nothing but fond memories here for the most part so I'm gonna document it a little bit here it is This is the uh, front patio. Great place for, for fire pits and that kind of thing. Uh, especially in the winter. Those were some great times. Definitely doesn't usually look like this on the inside, but uh, yeah, usually this was like the living room. There's like a couch here. It'd be like a great place for, you know, reading books, but I don't know. I didn't hang out here too much. And then, but this is, I hung out here a lot more. The dining room, there'd be, there's like a table here. I used to do work here. And I hung out here a ton because I was a swimmer. So all I did was eat. Good old kitchen. Uh, this is the TV slash entertainment room, which is where I'm also staying right now <laughs> on this little air mattress. Uh, you know, I'd be allowed to hang out in here whenever my dad wasn't in here, which he usually was. <laughs> but no, no, I could hang out with him in here, but, you know, we would, we would watch different things. So now we, we enter the hallway, uh, where there's this door, which leads to nothing, uh, because those shelves got put there. Then we continue this bathroom. Obviously spent a ton of time in here as you know, one does. And then here is uh, the room where we would always have the foreign exchange students stay. Uh, Wanik lived here when I was a lot younger, when I was in like third grade, he was, uh, exchange student from South Korea, then Ji Young, another uh, South Korean foreign exchange student, and then Nolan, the most recently, who's a Chinese foreign exchange student. Uh, you know, just uh, some kids my parents would, would, would uh, bring along to prevent me from being lonely, a lonely only child. That brings us to our fa my favorite room in the house, my bedroom, classic. Classic spot. Obviously, you probably spent the most time in here. Uh, all sorts of things went down in here. Um, yeah, it was a great room. Had a desk here, bed there, but I like to switch it up a little bit. Had an attic up there, but didn't really hang up, hang out up there because I was afraid of the scorpions. But yeah, I do love this room. It was a great room to grow up in. Uh, then, here's my parents' room, parents' bathroom, when uh, I would occasionally use their shower when I was allowed to. Uh, parents' bedroom, a lot of room uh, for them, their closet, you know. Hung out in here all the time. I mean, I guess, not that often, but here and there. Here's the laundry room that my parents built. It's pretty nice. Um, laundry machines kept me nice and smelling good for all the, you know, all the ladies of Phoenix. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that brings us to the backyard. Oh, also the pool house which I've actually never really been inside because I was afraid of the scorpions. Um, but now it's pretty clear and it's not full of my dad's tools. So yeah, that brings us to the backyard. There was a tree there, so there wasn't like this nice green field for me to, you know, play in, but that would've been cool. Uh, the pool, spent a ton of time in there, you know. In Phoenix, that's what, that's what it's all about. Getting, getting those laps in uh, and 
Yeah, I would swim all the time. I love that place. Also the alley back there, spent a ton of time out there searching for things for me to, to, to have. Back in the day, this was where the fish pond was, uh, but it got filled in. But that fish pond was great. Had some great little koi in there. There's also an awning there to hang out in. And then I, I didn't really hang out there too much. This was my dad's other tool shed. It was back here, which was pretty great. Uh, but I also stayed away from there because I was afraid of scorpions. Here's the alley. Great spot to go scavenging for for toys. I found a lot of good stuff out here, you know? A lot of good stuff. Which brings us back into the house from the from the back entrance. Let's see. Oh, then got that side yard over there. Uh, currently under construction. Oh, I gotta take you into the garage. Yeah, here's the garage. Nothing too exciting. The the old Subaru Forester and Kia Rondo spent a lot of time in here. Uh, and so did a lot of my toys. It's probably my favorite place to hang out back in the day. You know, I would put a mattress down there, jump off the roof, just, uh, just to do it. You could also run and jump in the pool, but I never did that. Uh, that only happened one time by uh, Jesse Bazil, who did it at a party one time. And I'm still very impressed to this day that she managed to pull that off. But this is the neighborhood, my stomping grounds down that way. The streets that raised me. Uh, also, Squaw Peak, beautiful mountain out there. Or now it's Paestawa Peak. But if you ever have the chance to come to Phoenix and hike that bad boy, I would definitely recommend doing so. Anyways, this is 1035 East Myrtle Drive, my childhood home. I'm going to miss it very much when we sell it, but, you know, it did a great job raising me. So, you know, I'll see you as I frequently do in my dreams, good old house. Until next time.